Hello friends, welcome back to more Pilfer Monk, because why not? That's right, we're currently in the Luxury Gauntlet, and I decided to play a Monk deck, because why not? Three copies of Thieves' Den, didn't have to pay for a single one of them, because it's an event. Boom. Easy video. I uh, hope you guys do go on to enjoy this one, you are getting it a day earlier, because tomorrow I'm dropping something special for Skyrim's 10th anniversary. It is just a Let's Play, I do want to do some more Skyrim content. But, yeah, I'm just doing a simple let's play for its 10th anniversary of one of my favourite quests in the game. One of the first quests I ever played in Skyrim. And I think I was 10 years old at the time. So it was basically just the first quest that I was like, I want to do this. This is the one. Because I obviously knew it was going to come into the game, as you'll realise when you see it, that it's something that was just going to be in the game. And, um, yeah, if you guys would also give that a watch and give this video a watch means the world to me if you're not subscribed please press that subscribe button you know there's no harm in doing it you can unsubscribe whenever you want and you've probably heard this from billions of other people by now so yeah let's just get on with the video and you can watch these Khajiit tear apart some opponents fossil rocket man okay um, hmm. Ultimate Heist can be lowered cost, and Anasi is quite good in case they have a lot of keywords. But the Crusade is just a bit slow for draw power when we don't have a single rune broken. Um, yeah, not a great hand. Thing is, with Pilfer, you want to get going from turn one. But uh, we just haven't got the cards. Um,. Again, nothing we can really do here. Swift Claw is good, though. Definitely can work with Swift Claw. Um. Is a five Battle Reeve's quite annoying because of the drain. Yeah! Ah, Shrieking Harpy. A very, very strong card. Yeah, this isn't looking great. Um, there are all this is the best we can do here. Because it just means that we might get one more turn of Swift Claw, or an actual turn of Swift Claw. And obviously, with that, um, we can sort of do some plays. Really? Okay. Um, are they going to do that trade? Yeah, smart. Anasi, though, is... Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, We'll put it here. Anasi finds it useful. God, Rally and Drain. And if only we could... You know what? Fuck it. It gets rid of a rune. And it gives us such a good card. That was worth it. Because it saves them having it. This is when they play a second one. No, they just use cast into time because... Yeah, they... That's... That is a card that is just piercing javelin, but... A bit better. And yeah, they have it. Ooh. I think... A brawler here would be nice. Or burger even would be nice. And... I think we save the Magicka for now, or the ring. Last bit of use can be used somewhere else. Just forget about C. They're gonna take. <laughs> I think they wanted a Nasi, but um, they've thrown it away if they can't remember. They're probably wondering where's the Nasi, and it's like you banished it, mate. If you're gonna cast it into time, take your cake. Okay, they've probably got some drain then if they're stealing that. Um, ooh. Well, wait, if we do this. Nine. Oh, yes. Right. We hit face. And now. Thieves' Den. Devious Bandit. Comes a much bigger card. 
And look at that. <laughs> this lane is now enough to end the game. The banks hate me. Look how we've just thrown over the game in one thing. And now watch as that gave them, like, cast into time or something. I mean, it did give them an assassin. Okay. Okay. Buddy. <laughs> you. You just grabbed the clutchiest of cards, buddy. Well, fret not. Those keywords are mine now. It's lethal, so... You'll be moving along now, yes. Uh, I guess we just use Shaveskin, fool. East March Crusader, you know. Draw something else. And, um, yeah. Do your worst. The Nine inspire us. That's fine. That's also okay. That's fine as well. Yeah, there we go. Devious Bandit comes in and does something amazing. Okay, let's go. I mean, usually you'd expect the Argonian to be Scout and the Khajiit to be Monk, but nope, we're really flipping it around. Um, I kind of like these, but Ultimate Heist, I'd much rather have something else at first. I get a rather expensive card. Now... As I've said in every game I've lost so far and probably won't show, we want to have a low cost hand which has a nice pilfer card at the start, but we keep on top decking. Yes, there are quite a lot of cards for us to hit in the top deck, but we kind of need that as, you know, pilfer's not got the greatest supply. But now we're stuck in this situation where they've got the ring and we're really not able to do much. They've already got off a side bit of kind of stuff. Literally, I've... <sighs> I don't want to do anything, that's the issue. These cards are not worth playing right now. I'm just getting completely screwed over by my hand. Steal from folks who ain't using it. That's, that's kind of key. fine because they don't have anything to, you know, there are all do you with are it. This one is destined for Best we can do here is this. They're probably going to have some movement or slay card or something like that. Something um, best we can do here is burn clown, night stalker. As long as you're here, try to be useful. We do that, and we just have to hope they don't have movement now. They probably will do because you know scout deck or something like that. Just really annoying for us. You can't beat me. My strength comes from Skuma. <laughs> Not really the thing you should be confessing, buddy. Skuma addict, but we shall move. Uh, do that to there. We'll get down a burglar. And then we do have the opportunity to get rid of this later. Hoping they can't get to burglar this turn. <sighs> But they can soon. You beat me. Right, well, we'll do this because it's the best thing to do. Um, let's see what they can give us. <laughs> a bit of a shit card, I won't lie. Um, but we move. I stand ready. We'll hold, no matter what. Oh, for... F That's annoying. Do not Things we wouldn't have been able to afford it anyway. But they do have a lot of magicka now, and... This is where high, high power nice. scout thrives, is when they've got this much magicka. Although, we do have a very nice play coming in here. Together, we will Shave make a fortune. Shave skin, fool! Don't make me laugh. Hmm... Controversial play here. No, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna flesh sculpture. It's just a meme. Now they are gonna get a spider here. They, they get a pretty lame one, to be honest. But it is still something, and they are. Yeah. They're on a high level of magicka. 
So this is where we really need to just start ramping things up. You are dead. Oh wait, I've just realized that I think we're fine. I literally think we're fine. Yeah, we are. Never mind. <laughs> we managed to outpace them. There you go. The spider lair has been dismantled. Not fun for us to see because this is probably aggro, meaning we need to have a fast paced hand. But oh well, Nacho 4. We're about to sweep the Nacho floor. That's a clever little joke you couldn't see if you couldn't see uh, on words, but you know you have to you have to really kind of zoom in to notice the little details. Please don't play a card. Please don't play a card. You know, you're a fellow Argonian buddy. Surely you want to just hold on to that hand for now. You know, with all your 12 cost cards. Yes! My boy! There we go. A simple opener. One that we're very fond of. They're looking at the card. They're wondering, is this where we cool down the airstrike? Get rid of it. Ow, oh, buddy, buddy, you don't want to do that. I'm very keen on keeping this one opportunist, you know. I'm very keen on it. I have faith that it will do all 30 damage needed to win the game. See, what you want to do is leave this lane completely empty so we can swift claw and then make you think that this is the real enemy when... You're also getting slashed to pieces by a swift claw. I only need one shot. No plot, no shot. That's a fun little rhyme for you there. Um, I would love this to master a thieves, but no. And the thing is, they've played this, and what they've played so far would heavily infer that they've got a lot of kind of control and stuff. And oh no, they've got an action in hand. Yep, it's an arrow storm break. Just completely remove our chance of, you know, doing something fun here. But oh well. You know, buddy. You, it's, it's it's a bit annoying, but okay. Are you going to cast through time this? You know, you're going full control today. You know. Daring today, aren't we? Is that the Spongebob meme I'm thinking of? You know, the one where Squidward's really, like, sick of this customer doing the same old shit. <laughs> uh, when I play this game, usually my mind just wanders to something random. And I have, like, my own inner lecture on something. Like, have you ever been playing Oblivion and you wonder, what is the point of a horse? I fast travel almost everywhere. And, I mean, they aren't even that much faster. Yes, they are a bit faster than just your average kind of traveling speed. But it's a bit. It's not a lot. It's not enough for it to be, whoa, this is crazy. This is a different world. It's just... Oh, I'm going a bit faster than usual. I like this. And it does really beg the question, like, if horses were needed. There's no combat on it. You only really see the black horse Kuro people going around on it. Of course, it adds to the world. And wow, really? Really? You know, there's this guy here. No? I mean, that choice of play there angers Khajiit for me. Um... The moons give this one strength. We're gonna do this here because currently they don't wait. <sighs> oh, that's an Uno reverse card. Green packed ambusher. You know, I've actually never had someone play this against me. Or have it effectively go off without them just having to play it through hand. Oh no, this guy's full on Uno reverse carded us. They but are they going to go, are they going safe or are they going greedy? Oh, they've gone greedy and it's not going to pay off. What can I say other than oopsie doops? And now, okay, it, it, it didn't, it didn't get something that would just make me go, wow, okay. Uh, I might just get rid of it anyway, because, you, you know. You fight like a child. Oh. 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 
No, nope, don't want to mute them just yet. And now here, I didn't come here alone. We've done this, and it's a lot more threatening. Things if we can get Razum Dar down, he's like eight points directly to face. Ultimate heist becomes dirt cheap and pretty much just ends the game. Like <laughs> Master of Thieves is where you it's where you just None stop us. Do you hear me? Dementia. Sorry, what's this lane again? Dementia, you say? They missed their also, I, I forgot where I was on my horse rambling. Um Nicely done. Ah, I can't remember. Thank you. I mean, I did enjoy my little horse speech, but yeah, we do need to end the video, sadly. And that's what we're doing with the ultimate heist of a frenzy to lit. Cheers for joining the deck, bro. It's always been good to see it, and it's been good to see you guys watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed, um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.